as you say, this is actually uh, the beginning of uh, a project from ground up. And over the, over the, I think the past one week, every day we've been having a specific project starting off. So far, this is the, the last of five. So we have five projects that have started and uh, each one of them have different um, number of participants. I think NLP has the biggest number of participants followed by demand forecasting or either demand forecasting has the, the, the biggest. Um, and then uh, um, uh, image, image, uh, image processing and uh, Product review how has more or less the same number. I think around four guys, four guys, yeah. So when you look at this number, um, I think that is the the expected number, especially when uh, the project is the project might not be so not not so many people might be interested. But for as long as a project has even one person, me, I have no problem. Uh, I could run a session with uh, even a single person. The idea is for uh, that person to walk into this class uh, having little or no understanding of the project. By the time they finish the project, they can actually explain the entire process and actually do it and deliver a project at the end of the month. So that is the main objective. And uh, as you say, uh, Chris, we are going to start from scratch. So if you had done uh, foundations before, if you had done foundations before, um, it's, it's going to work for you. If you did a while back and you're, you're more advanced in this, um, uh, you, could, you could really contribute uh, well in the class. Uh, based on your knowledge, you could uh, advise uh, and help other people. We will create a chat, a chat group where the same discussion can go on. And uh, with your experience, if you're at an advanced level, you can actually support others. And uh, we, we, we deliver this project as a, as, a, as a class. So similar to the previous projects, let me tell you um, the difference with this learning path. So the first day, like today, uh, not so much will be happening, but what we will do, we are going to go through uh, what we expect to learn and uh, look at it, uh, look at what needs to be learned, uh, like the roadmap all the way to the last, the last day, what is expected of each of us and uh, how it's going to be in terms of uh, the sessions, together with uh, um, off sessions work, because after today, um, there will be work that needs to be done by each one of us in every group. So as a member of a group, there will be work that needs to be done during the week. And then that work needs to be submitted before the next session. So that work is to prepare you for the next session. So that the next session, we are at the same level, no one is left behind. So if you, if you, the easiest way to lag behind is just not to complete the work that you're supposed to be doing during the week. So that is the difference between this, this approach and the previous approach, where we ran classes and uh, each weekend, each weekend had uh, its own, uh, each weekend had its own uh, um, topic and subject. Um, and it was, more general while we were doing notebooks we were we were we were doing theory it was more general and uh, we were not specific to the problem we're solving so we covered things like eda separately we covered things like uh, pre-processing and data cleaning separately but uh, we didn't have a solid goal and uh, like we have in this one so that is what differentiates these classes moving forward as compared to the previous classes. At the end of this class, we must have a tangible project uh, accessible by users. So users will be out there and uh, each one of us need to be able to understand and articulate 
what it means to deliver such a, such a product, a project. And you can actually go ahead and, and deliver now a project by yourself. All right. Um, okay, that's fine. If you can give uh, feedback via chat, I'll send to Caroline because of I, I, I assume you have uh, sound issues on your side. So uh, I'll be I'll be reaching out to you guys to give feedback. So what you're looking at, um, could you, could someone confirm if they can see my screen? I've just projected uh, a slide. Okay, all right, perfect. All right, so what you're looking at right now is um, what we plan to cover. And uh, we have, this, this problem is uh, a time series problem. So what we will do, we will learn what time series is. We will learn what time series is and uh, how to create a time series. Uh, visualize it, yeah. And then uh, get to understand what we mean by trend, seasonality, and uh, access to certain terms in relation to a time series problem. What are some of the assumptions of uh, any forecasting model? Um, uh, how do we split or, or, or break down or unpack a time series problem? How to identify what, uh, how to identify autocorrelation? Um, and what those are, what they mean, um, ADF, augmented Dickey Fully test. Uh, what does that, what does that mean, and uh, of what importance? Uh, what are some of the other test cases that we will encounter? Uh, smoothing within time series. What does this mean? Uh, what are some of the techniques for smoothing? Uh, so there are quite a lot of uh, terminologies with time series. Quite a lot, I can tell you for sure. And we are going to cover each one of them and try and understand um, uh, what each one of these mean. And uh, we'll also do how, how many, in how many ways can we model a time series problem. So there are some ways like uh, Arima, we have Sarima, uh, we have um, Holt Watson, we will, we will, we will, Holt, Holt Winters, sorry. Uh, uh, we will cover each of them and actually have a notebook that we are going to to write and understand how each of these are model. Yeah, uh, how to convert a multiplicative time series into an addi additive time series. What are those and how to do them? Uh, transformations. Uh, we will extract the trends, seasonality, and random terms. Um, we will use uh, standard regression methods to forecast, uh, something like uh, a simple linear regression. Um, uh, we, have, uh, we have, I think, around three uh, regression methods that we will cover. Um, what is differencing and how does it come into play within a time series problem? And how do we, um, what are some of the metrics of uh, time series, okay? So those are some of the things that we're going to be looking at and applications of the model that we build. So at the end of this exercise, or rather at the end of this period, we are going to um, build a model that we will expose for people to use through either a website or a mobile app. And based on that model, um, it's, going to be, it's going to be known outside there. And, um, each person who's participating in this uh, class, um, the, the, the model is going to be attributed to each one of them in terms of uh, uh, what, what they did and uh, the class that they attended. So the plan is, in my group, there is, um, there is a bigger group, a bigger meetup, that uh, at the end of all these presentations, um, I'll invite, uh, people within the group as well as outside the group to come and uh, um, comment or uh, see and experience um, the projects that have come to fruition out of uh, the classes and not only see on Jupyter Notebook, but also listen to the people who have built it as well as um, experience the system. So they will either access it from the website or 
uh, the mobile app. This is an ambitious uh, thing, but I believe it is achievable. And uh, the, the, the owners will not be to me, but the owners will be to the students. So if you really want uh, to, to show what you're capable of in terms of what you've learned and what you, what you want to, for whatever reason, you want any other person to know what you're capable of doing within uh, three months, then this is your best shot. Um, focus on a single project and take it, ensure you, 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 you drive with it, you go with it to the end and articulate it. You never know who will be in that, uh, who will be in that uh, demo day and you never know where this would lead, lead you out. If the, in case by any chance uh, uh, that day comes, the worst thing that can happen is you'll have learned uh, time series problem and you will be able to articulate and solve those problems, okay? So that is the approach I'm taking with all the projects. I've said we have four, four other projects that have already started. With the biggest number, I think it's either in demand forecasting or uh, an LP, I'm not so sure, but those two, there was a, a huge subscription. And um, the next two is image processing and uh, product reviews. Uh, I think on average, we have like five people in each of those projects, um, product reviews. And then finally, this one, which is sales forecasting. Uh, demand forecasting and sales forecasting are, are just, both of them are time series problems. So um, anyone in demand forecasting would be able to uh, sit into this class and sales forecasting, you can actually sit into the demand demand class, but I, I propose that you, you focus on the problem because the week after every session is going to be intense, you're going to be required to do uh, a couple of stuff uh, at your own free time. And uh, uh, I'll, I'll come up with specific tasks that ensure that everyone participate or rather everyone is given equal chance to participate. So it will be up to you to participate or not, because I know some people are, are so tied up in whatever they do during the, the day. But I would want to put it this way. For as long as you want to see uh, results out of this exercise, um, whatever you do during the day is just as important as this one, because this is time box to three months. So after three months, who knows, we might never have such a, a, a an opportunity to do this. Maybe that would be the end of it and uh, people will move on. And uh, I guess maybe after three months you might, this could just be the differentiating factor. Either you get, um, you get a new position or you move to an, a new um, section where you can put impact and impact or implement what you've learned or even get a job if you don't have a, a job or even be self-employed. Um, if you're interested. So I would, I would really, really encourage each one to be, to take this as seriously as whatever they do during the day and commit to see um, this to the end, okay? So what you normally do, as I mentioned, the first day is just brainstorming session. And the first part of that brainstorming session is to walk you through um, the roadmap, which I've already done, and highlight to you some of the content that we are going to be covering which I've already done. And uh, um, I like what is expected of you, uh, which I've also done. Um, Faris is asking how many are we here? Excluding myself, we are four. So including myself, we are five. Faris, we are good? So it's more or less the same number of image, image processing as well as uh, demand forecasting. So smaller groups are better because you can you can actually um, contribute, feel at home, and uh, you have a chance to be heard, um, your opinion, all right? Faris, did you have anything in mind? Uh, does that answer your question? Faris? Okay, perfect. All right. 
All right. Uh, so unless you ha unless you are having a, a sound problem on your side, I would encourage that you you use the mic. But if you're having sound problems, participation via chat is equally better. Um, okay. Now the second part of this session is okay. going to be. Uh, yes, Faris. Okay, I've joined. I've joined a bit late. I was to ask if somebody can use uh, the, this project after we finished in your portfolio, uh -huh. or maybe you can include it now and say I'm working on on a forecasting project. Okay. Um, you're asking if you can include it in your portfolio or after. Just repeat the question. Okay, I'm asking if I can include it in my portfolio right now, saying mm. that this is the project that I'm currently working on, mm. and if I can also include it after we finished. Yeah, um, absolutely. Um, you can go ahead and do it now. Uh, what, I'll, what I'll be doing is for every session, and I've already started doing it with NLP because NLP is going to have their second class tomorrow, meaning their first assignment they've already submitted, and we are starting to do code as from tomorrow. So the first day for NLP was covered. So with them, they are just going to be, if you want to know what's happening with other groups, you can follow my GitHub account and my YouTube account. I'll be publishing what each and every group is doing, where they are at, and I'll be mentioning names and giving links to the students. Uh, so if you have a LinkedIn profile, if you have a GitHub uh, profile, um, I'll be attaching them on that notebook. So you could mention the same thing, what you're doing. And at the end of the day, if there is anyone who's interested in auditing um, or even asking questions about uh, any particular person during this period, then uh, they are free because all, all, all that you're doing is going to be recorded. And at the, end of, at the end of three months, anyone who wishes to get a report will definitely get a report of what we've been busy with all the past three months. So please go ahead, include it. And uh, I will also support you with that. I'll, I'll make sure that uh, your, your LinkedIn and GitHub account, uh, your progress is also updated in the main uh, GitHub account as we build it and your participation will also be uh, documented. So that is the approach I'm going to use for the next three months. And you can go ahead and mention it. Not a problem. Eventually, we are going to. We'll. We'll. Um, I will also take it upon myself that at the end of the session, should the project be successful, uh, uh, according to what we all of us in this class expect, I will write an article and mention the and articulate the skills of every individual, and post it on my wall in LinkedIn as well as um, GitHub. So your participation and contribution is very, very important. And it's going to be intense. It's going to be very, very intense. When I talk about uh, uh, three months, you might think that it's long. And this is what I keep telling the other guys as well when, when we started. Uh, you might think that three months is long. But remember, the sessions we have is one, uh, once a week. And then during the week, you're given, with specific, you're given specific uh, tasks to do. And you're, you have a WhatsApp group to consult your colleagues. And you have resources and links that actually guide you, unlike when you're studying alone, when you have a lot of content. So um, it is up to you to use the, link, the links and the networks to make sure that you understand and uh, the connections to make sure you understand and get answers as you move forward. Yeah. So that is going to be the approach. Okay. All right. Um, now, uh, the, the first session, uh, it's normally more of me uh, discussing and telling you guys uh, how, how we will be driving this uh, agenda moving forward. But the second session is all of us, we need to participate. And the main reason is, um, the second session, I'll start, off, I'll start us off with what forecasting is, and we will brainstorm our own understanding of what forecasting is. And we will try and mention some examples. And then each one of us would propose uh, a forecasting problem they believe we should solve as a class. And then um, they will also get a chance to explain uh, why they feel that should be the forecasting problem. And, um, and then we will vote on all those ideas. So I, uh, uh, 
I can see we are five. So each one of us will vote. The, the vote that has the highest number of uh, votes would, uh, would carry the day. However, if someone has a different opinion, is free or she is free to interject and defend his or her case. So it needs to be a very, very open and genuine discussion. Akuna Raka Koi class, we have to be very, very objective. And some of the things that needs to guide us as we become objective, number one, um, whatever we are forecasting must be solving a problem. Yeah. So it needs to be a problem that uh, we are solving and a real problem that uh, we are solving outside there. And it has potential users outside there, yeah? And the number of users, if we want to have real impact, whatever we are solving, uh, I was of the opinion that uh, the number of users should be mass, so many people use it, and acquisition of this data should be easy. I know when you're doing machine learning problems and data science uh, questions, you access to data is normally a problem. So, the problem that we are trying to solve, we need to be able to easily access that data or create that data. And uh, so that we have everything we need to get started and learn. So we don't want a project that we will take, it will take us uh, three or four days to access the data. We just want a, a problem that should we agree, the next day we have the data, everyone is consolidated by the next class, we have everything it takes to start uh, playing with Jupyter Notebooks, yeah? And then uh, uh, besides availability of the data, besides the problem being solved and uh, the problem being faced by a mass, uh, a lot of people, uh, the problem that we select, or the, rather the project that we select, needs to be measurable in terms of, uh, um, at the end of it all, we need to be able to articulate that uh, this is the most likely impact of what our model is, um, of what the model that we have built would give. Because these are some of the things that we will be articulating during the demo day. And uh, one last thing about the demo day, I won't be the one talking. It's going to be um, a represent represent representation from you guys. It's um, one, two, or even all of you. And with this Corona, uh, corona Manenos, um, it's going to be digital. So the likelihood of so many people attending and getting questions is high. So that would be the way the demo day would go through. And it's my prayer that we stick to the end and build something that we are all going to demo and be proud of. That after the demo day, should I decide that I'm not running any more of these classes. You will just say thank you and uh, move on, yeah? So that is, by and large, the plan for the next three months. And uh, I would jump straight into the second session. Normally, we have a break between the first and the second session. Um, but I think at some point there, I'll just pull, I'll just pull, uh, I'll, I'll create a break for five or 10 minutes so, uh, just before we vote. Uh, before, we go, before we go, we could then start brainstorming. So let me start by uh, uh, trying to explain my understanding of forecasting, and then I'll give each and every one of you to explain um, their understanding of forecasting. Uh, it, it doesn't matter, you can repeat or uh, echo what someone says if you agree with them. Uh, but it is important that you rephrase into your own words your own understanding of the, the word forecasting and uh, forecasting project in, by extension. So my understanding of forecasting is the, uh, it's, it's just like foresight or uh, the ability to, to tell the future. I call, I call them magicians. But in this case, you're not magicians. So you know, you are what are we? I'm a witch doctors. Huh? But uh, as guys, if, if we have to be called witch doctors, then uh, we are witch doctors playing around with, that, with data. Not, not is my calabash, is my mawin, and my fupa. Yeah, so these people somehow, uh, somehow they believe they can, tell, they can tell you about your future. So what you need to do is to give them a goat or a cow or some, some blood and, and tell you a 
few things and then they'll tell you uh, this is the kind of thing you need to do, especially our politicians. But uh, that is not what we are learning today. Forecasting is the ability to see the future, basically, um, or uh, to, to predict with some level of accuracy the future in whatever it is that you're observing. So if it is, if it is, um, if it is, uh, if it is, let me say the stocks of a certain company, if it is the spending patterns of a certain um, group of uh, teenagers, you, even your own financial needs, you might be, I've been spending money as a student and uh, uh, I would like to know uh, how much will I most likely need, especially now that we have data bundles and stuff, yeah? So that is my understanding of forecasting. And uh, I, would, I would go to Chris. Chris would uh, go ahead and explain his own understanding. Chris? Yes, uh, I'm here, Ayub, uh, unmuting Manenos. Uh, so uh, I would uh, more or less say, say the same thing. Like, uh, I will not go through the, uh, like we, 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 we create, we, we are facing an issue right now. Mm -hmm. And we want to know, for example, a problem. We have a problem right now. And we want to know how long will this, this persist. So you are trying to predict the future of a certain outcome. Uh, or, or, or you have a variable, but you're trying to predict the future of that variable. Uh, or you have something you want to scale it out. You want to scale it out. So you want to know what will be the impact of scaling it. So you are trying to kind of predict, predict uh, the future of a certain problem or a, or a certain, let me just call it a variable because it is not necessarily all, it is not necessarily a problem. But at least you are using a historical data to get uh, a future outcome. Actually, that is it. You're using historical data to get a future outcome. So, awesome. That's what I understand. Okay. Great stuff. Uh, Danson, Danson, what's your understanding? Oh, hi, guys. Hi. How are hi, you? Hi, hi. Good, good. Hey, how are you? Uh, I'm doing good also. So, my understanding of forecasting is like you're predicting the events before they come to happen uh of course using previous data and of course applying some tools so i guess that is all i understand about forecasting so i'm just trying to think about the best project to do in here yeah okay okay all right Dancer. Um, Thank you. I'm done. Ah, good stuff. Good stuff, uh, Danson. Uh, Faris? Okay, forecasting to me. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, I can hear you. Yes, I can hear you. Yes, I can hear you. Yes, I can Forecasting is like matarejio yako kwa kitu ya takuwaje. Mudo ujao. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's that's. Uh, I think more or less we are we are all in on the same page. Um, I, we have one of us. I did. Did we lose her? I think uh, two of our, of the ladies have dropped out. We had Kat, Caroline and Eve. Um. I think we've we've lost them, but uh, my hope is that they will come back. All right, so I think we are all in agreement uh, what forecasting is. Uh, but there is an element that is very, very important. Uh, we are using uh, historical data, uh, trying to learn historical, historical, learn some patterns from historical data. And then we use these patterns um, to make a prediction. If, uh, if everything was to be, um, normal, or even considering all the different, all the different um, possibilities that have, has been observed in the past. 
So you might see that you're tracking the sales or the profits of a business. Now, um, unfortunately, uh, I, I want to pick, um, I want to pick uh, tasks as a uh, case study in this one. Um, I understand they're going through a lot of uh, financial issues. So if two years ago, they bothered to do um, some forecasting in terms of either sales or operations, or even uh, staff attrition, or even um, customer complaints, or even uh, uh, spending patterns and shopping patterns of, 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 of their customers, they would have an idea of how, how to handle um, the sales uh, that actually are plummeting across all, all, all industries right now. Uh, those people who had foresight of such an incident are more likely to have uh, better mitigation in place, yeah? So the idea is to, okay, of course COVID has never happened. Um, the last time something like this, pandemic like this happened, uh, none of us had been born. Um, that's my assumption. If you are born then, then you have the flow. You can tell us how it was. Uh, my assumption is um, something like this. Uh, there is nowhere we can uh, we can see it in the past. So there is no data that shows or explains what could have happened. But uh, if we look at uh, something similar. If the spending of a customer is affected, it is either due to um, lack of employment or they, they, they got fired. Right now, it's the pandemic. We are spending more time in the house than we are outside there. So the question is, uh, were we spending money we didn't have? Or were we just spending because we are walking around? Why is it that um, supermarkets are being very, very, uh, like a supermarket like Tuskegee? is being impacted in such huge way, um, doesn't mean people are buying when they really don't need. Because if you need something, you will definitely continue buying. It doesn't mean that this pandemic has um, made so many people uh, not able to buy what they used to buy because either they've lost their jobs. So there's a lot to learn. And forecasting is one, just one way. So that is one thing that I wanted to bring out to you. And you guys have also mentioned it you use historical data to make that prediction. So there is so much um, as uh, having the mind of a data scientist and a machine learning engineer, you could think of uh, the various possibilities, the various possibilities of the kind of problems you can be solving and how you can be helpful to institutions or even companies like uh, Duskies and any other company that is are facing this problem, all right? I can see Silas has just come in. Silas. Hi, sorry. Uh, I had some issues. No, I'm not a problem. No, not a problem, not a problem. So um, I hope you're following. Yeah, I'm following. All right. So what we are doing is we are just brainstorming. Um, today's session is not going to be as expansive as uh, the upcoming one uh, because of the today's session is just more of um, intro to what we will be doing in the coming uh, class days and even in the coming weeks and uh, we're also going to pick a project at the end of this um, today's session our take home should be a project that we are going to adopt as a team and uh, focus on that project for the next three months with uh, very, very specific uh, achievable milestones. And um, I'll be the one who's coordinating and tracking what we achieve in, in every class, in every week to the end. Uh, all this information will be available to anyone who needs it. And uh, the work of each and every person in this class um, will will be visible in uh, the notebook that i upload on on github and with if you give me your linkedin and the github account i will definitely mention so that anyone coming access or uh, getting through to 
to that notebook, they, they can actually follow through. They can follow through to your profile and uh, maybe reach out to you and, and engage you in uh, solving a similar problem. So that is what we've covered so far. And we've also understood uh, what forecasting is. That is where you found us, where we were just brainstorming our own understanding of what forecasting is. And that is where now I want you to uh, just spend a few minutes, tell us what your own understanding is or with regards to forecasting. So Silas, that background was for your sake. So it's uh, over to oh, you. No problem, no problem. Um, over to me. Where are you? Ngumu. Yes, this is where you can go. I'm going to go. I can see Eve is trying to join us. Um, she probably is having problems, but I know she will be able to. Let me, let me use an analogy. Yeah? Okay. Let me ask first of all, who knows how to swim? Who knows? How to swim. How to spin? Swim, swim. Oh, swim, swim. okay. Okay, definitely not me. Um, <laughs> that's a story for another day. I have no idea how to swim. Uh, and, um, the participants. <laughs> and the other people. Yeah, the other people, Faris. Interesting. We thought it is. A, it comes as a as a <laughs> as an idea, as a as a as a, as a skill for everybody who comes from where you come from to swim. Uh, uh, default. Uh, <laughs> and I don't know how to swim. Uh, yeah, to go in. Faris, Faris, una una swim. Yes, yes, I know. Uh, yeah. there you go, Okay, sir. So. Uh, and if 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 I have issues na mic yake, if I have issues na mic yake, when you when you when you go into when you swim in still water, it's already difficult, eh? mm. Mm. right? Yeah. Uh, which is what you, which is what I can pre refer to as stationarity. Yeah. Mm. Now, if you <laughs> Going to the sea, there are waves, yeah? Mm. So the waves at times push you forward and backwards, yeah? Mm. So there are times you're moving forward and you're moving backwards, yeah? Mm. Mm. So um, let's say I've not got to stationarity, which is where you want to get to, mm. um, in the sea. Mm. And... Um, I'm trying to wrap my head around um, uh, things like, okay, fair enough, I understand box plots and everything, yeah? Mm. And scatter plots and using scatter plots, heat maps and everything to try and assess whether there's some um, series being involved or, um, but that's where I am at the moment. And that's why I was asking the question. Remember in the group I was asking, mm. how is it that you're able to tell when and when not, yeah? Mm -hmm. What are the <clears throat> situations? Because if you're, I think it was a primary requirement of either knowing whether it is or not, yeah? Mm -hmm. Then now you can start going into the assessment of time series. So that's where I was. Uh, I, I don't know why I mixed my days up. I don't know, I thought this, this was supposed to be a Thursday class. So yeah. I was reading today. <laughs> oh, okay. But you know, this yeah. we've not even started. We've not even started the the class. This is just a a, a basic uh, brainstorming yeah. session, where yeah. we just say uh, our own understanding of uh, forecasting in our own language. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm just trying to also get the okay. what you call it the standardization as well that we look at it using the Dika Fuller um, mm. tests. Mm. And the, I don't know what you called it. It's okay, if Eva Metoka, Eva Meza Sema, it's called a BJ modeling. Mm. Okay. At least, uh, at least when I was a Sema, I was a Galia Kitu. But I was a Fika Uko. So, what we are doing is just a basic understanding of what forecasting is. Um, oh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. The, the, I didn't the, understand the concept. So, so anyway, for me, the thing mm -hmm. is that uh, I'll, I'll, I'll tell it to everybody that uh, I'm looking at it for more on a, from a, from a 
forecast in perspective of, of weather still. Remember I've shown that I'd wanted to show in terms of agriculture as one of my options. Even though we're gonna be doing demand forecasting for, for shopping, yeah. So um, yeah, I can see it being applied in very many places. Mm. Okay, all mm. right. Okay. Um, I don't know whether I helped or I've been at the Um, I got a bit lost there because uh, uh, where we are at, because maybe maybe you are ahead of us. Uh, where we are at right now is uh, we just want your own understanding of what you mean, what you understand by the word forecasting. What does it mean? Okay. And uh, it's predicting um, the future and with a yeah. lot of. Yeah, okay. with a lot of data that's um, in seasons or in a series or something like that. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So I think we are all in sync with the, exactly the, the definition of uh, forecasting or our understanding. I think it's by and large uh, the same understanding. Eve is back. I don't know. Uh, Eve, uh, what you are doing is right now, what you are doing, I know you will play the the, the, the recording and follow through the bits that you, you missed out. What we're doing right now is um, we are just using our own words to, to explain our understanding of the word forecasting and w probably give an example of a most likely a forecasting project that you have in mind. So I don't know if you can either type that or now you are able to join in via mic so that we, 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 we move forward without uh, losing you. So as Eve types, uh, then we could proceed as, as she types her uh, understanding of uh, forecasting. Now it takes us now to the second phase where each one of us again will now just, based on their understanding, um, each one of us would now make uh, um, a proposal of uh, the kind of project that we need to adopt as a class, yeah? And this project, like I said, um, the project should be solving a specific problem. And then um, the project should be one that is uh, low hanging in terms of us guys getting access to the data we shouldn't pick a project that uh, either creating that data or getting access to that data is difficult. And then finally, um, the project should be one that uh, is realistically achievable in three months, um, depending on complexity, considering that uh, we are doing this to learn. And uh, if we identify a project that might be complex, and with that, I would. Uh, I'll probably give guidance. Um, we might want to split it into two or even three phases, but with uh, the first deliverable being by exactly, I think three months from now, around September, we should be turning out uh, a production project. Okay, uh, so I'll start with Silas again. So I'll do Silas, uh, Chris, Eve, and then Faris. Each one of us will just give an idea of the kind of project you want to solve. And then uh, try and elaborate further on that project. And then I'll take note of that project. And then the last session would be now where we, we pick and uh, defend and vote for that project. Once we, once we identify our project, then we call it a day for today. And I'll share the resources and move forward, uh, identify tasks that we, meet, we need to achieve before the next class. So from the next class, we start um, getting our hands dirty. So Silas, over to you. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, I personally want to uh, see if I can be able to either forecast uh, rain or soil moisture or something like that um, in the in the future. Um, why I think that's important it's to um, possibly give guys who are farming some 
prediction of when to um, water their plants. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you can plan for water. So what happens is that we, I know there's a lot of climatic change that's happening, but <clears throat> what if we bring uh, technology to this space and not wait for things to happen? What's the, I know the ideal Nirvana scenario would be um, a notification that uh, please water these plants at, at this time and this time and this time, get your, get your water ready from wherever source it is and you'll be able to meet your production needs. Yeah, mm -hmm. but um, if somebody, if, if we're at one stage, somebody can get to a certain level where they can go to a farm and say, um, this section is, requires water, that section requires water. Um, it can even help people with their planning mm -hmm. for uh, costings and everything opposed to just losing crops and stuff. Mm. I think in the future it may help. All right. And it also gives them a lead time to find water sources. All right. Perfect. Anyone with a question for, for, for uh, Silas or uh, seek for clarity? I barely, I I barely heard what he was saying. He was on and off, but I, I, I think he talked about having a, a, a model for a, like crop model. I don't know. Okay, anyway, I did, I didn't get it correctly, but I will be playing the recording. Maybe I try to follow up what he's saying. Is he saying that we should be able to predict that a, a certain uh, fallow within a within a field requires water, or what uh, what is the date we should water it, or something? I didn't get it. Yeah, actually, yeah. actually, I think you got it. Um, so, um, uh, Silas, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, what Silas is uh, proposing is uh, the ability to um, to predict soil or rain moisture in the in the in the in the in the on the farm, so that uh, uh, the farmer the farmers can actually manage their water better. So uh, knowing when to water or knowing when not to water, because maybe, uh, let me say next week, the prediction is <clears throat> your farm is good. Uh, don't worry, uh, uh, that is the prediction. Uh, so if you, don't, if you don't have water around, then don't worry. Um, but if it, the prediction is next week, uh, Dr. Maji, uh, if you're uh, far, far away from water, then you can get your donkeys and uh, go fetch that water. Uh, ideally, I, I see this problem very um, applicable. I, I, at some point I did farming in, in, in Kajiado, um, some areas. But uh, fortunately for me, uh, near that farm, uh, there was a borehole. But you can imagine someone doing farming where there is no borehole and uh, they need to know, okay, when should I have uh, this water? Or oh, the water that I have uh, is uh, very m little. How do I then um, uh, water my crops? So the normal practice would be: let me water every, let me water every evening. But maybe that evening you're watering, the moisture is actually enough. You don't need to water. So you're basically what you're doing: you're wasting your water. Uh, Silas, is that the case? Yes. Those are the cases. Even the other, the, there's also the converse case mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. um, the guys who uh, grow tomatoes, they mm -hmm. overwater. Mm -hmm. They overwater the plants. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right? Perfect. So, uh, the, the problem we are is, trying to resolve yeah. is very real. I, I like that because also maybe the water is a scarce resource, eh? we must agree. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to water where you don't need it. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, there are some uh, there are some uh, some diseases. For example, you're saying in in tomatoes and potatoes will which will come through overwatering things like uh, like rotting and um, and bright. But uh, my interest, uh, why what I said I didn't get very well is where are we going to get that data? Do we like have the type of the soil and then check how long it stays, the amount of water in millimeters watered? Mm. The depth, 
Okay, so, I'm just thinking what yeah. what kind of a data would we use yeah, to, yeah. to solve that problem? Absolutely, Chris. And Silas, as you think through the, the answer to, to Chris, just uh, mm. just uh, try and articulate it. Um, let's go and listen to, because that's a question for you from Chris. You will need to answer it. Uh, uh, so let's let's pick someone else and who has uh, an idea. We go, we go one round, and then the next round now is for anyone who, who had been asked a question can answer. Okay? Silas, does that work? So. Okay, perfect. All right, Chris, um, it's you now. Um, what 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 pro project do you have in mind, and uh, what is it that you can uh, you can we can do uh, as your proposal? What are some of the impact and justify try and justify your your, your proposal the way um, Silas did his for everyone to understand. Honestly, I, I I don't have a project of my own. I thought about what you wrote on the on the article, and I okay. was thinking what we can have. Eh? Okay. It was about online forecasting, online sales. Eh? Okay. So uh, for us to for so I, wa I was thinking about uh, maybe getting to know what is the reach the reach in that uh, when I post my sale online, mm -hmm. how many people am I reaching and what is their age and how can I be able to conjure my, my sales towards that demographic? Mm -hmm. That is what I was thinking. Okay. Uh, so not a delay particular, I just picked that from you today. All right, okay. All yeah. right, all right. Okay, um, I can see uh, Ibrahim, anyone with a, a response to what Chris has mentioned or it's clear? Silas? Yeah. Faris? You have any question for Chris? No, I don't have. I don't have. All right. Ibrahim, just I, I noticed you joined a bit late. Uh, so um, just to put your to, to get you all up to speed, uh, what you're doing right now is we are exploring some uh, forecasting ideas and uh, projects that are viable. And at the end of this exercise, um, our objective of today's class is to come up with one project that we are all, we are all going to adopt and use it as uh, the best way we are going to learn moving forward. And then what you're learning um, is going to be sales forecasting and basically forecasting in general. And I'll, 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 I'll mention the difference between uh, sales forecasting and demand forecasting um, maybe after all the, all the discussion. So um, sorry to take you straight to the deep end, but I think it's your turn now. Or while you think about it, let me let me let me allow Faris to just share his thoughts. Faris, over to you. Okay, as for me, since I'm I'm much of a forex trader, mm -hmm. I was thinking of something that can forecast uh, uh, prices. Like sometimes uh, we usually predict the price will go down, and something happens. So I was thinking if we can, I can create a, a, something that can forecast. If this happens, the price will go up or the price will go down. If the dollar, if if, if the dollar surges, uh, Africa will be able to experience this. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Just go That's on. What I'm, uh, Faris, just go on. Okay, mostly it's about the stock market and the and the forex market. Mm. Uh, so I'm thinking of something if we can be able to predict the price mm. and 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 if and okay, like something like uh, cryptocurrencies. And mo most guys are, specul are speculating. Bitcoin will be one million. One Bitcoin will be one million dollars in 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 the next uh, five years, but. They, they, they are not even sure how they are able to forecast that thing, but now I want to create something that can be able to forecast. Because even if you ask them what have they used to predict, they are just telling it's just out of speculation. Mm -hmm. so I want to create something that will deal with the, will come up from data sets, how, pe how it will influence how people will buy and sell Bitcoin, mm -hmm. and something like that. Okay, perfect. Perfect, Faris. That is uh, another viable uh, uh, project. Anyone with a specific questions to Faris? Okay. 
Okay. Mimi nitakuuliza Faris. <laughs> Mimi niko na swali um but you don't have to answer now. Uh when you're doing the the iteration for answering questions, uh you you get a chance to answer it. My question would then be what is the anticipated value or uh, problem that uh, you want us to solve or the value that we will be bringing up to our possible um, customers? Uh, in this sense, uh, do we have existing tools that are doing that or uh, do we have uh, users using other systems? And is it going to be difficult for our solution to be adopted? Just give it some thoughts and um, uh, in the next round, uh, please share share your your thoughts about it. Um, I think that's you, you. You got the question, Paris? Yes, yes, I got the question. Okay, perfect. So before we get to the uh, the the answer session, uh, Ibrahim, are you ready to contribute? Uh, I, I can try. I mean, I can add on uh, what uh, Faris has been saying. Okay. So. Uh, but I, I, I would say I would, I would be thinking much more on the on the stock side mm -hmm. rather than uh, the currencies. Mm -hmm. So I would say a project on uh, just trying to use the time series modeling mm -hmm. to predict the stock prices mm -hmm. maybe for the internationals uh, like the U.S. market and maybe for the Kenyan market. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, I think the for for that the problem would be it would it would not be necessarily a, a solution for for a, a, a corporate kind of thing mm -hmm. rather than for a, um I mean for for personal use I guess because mm -hmm. uh, investment is uh, something that uh, I think uh, it's kind of personal so mm -hmm. I think. If we would be building something on uh, trying to predict uh, stock prices, mm -hmm. it would be a product uh, for like for maybe personal use or something like that. I don't know. Maybe like an develop it into something like an app that a user can can just go ahead and uh, get the the data for the prices. Maybe yesterday, mm -hmm. maybe for a couple of months, mm -hmm. and then. Uh, maybe using a couple of models can mm -hmm. tell the user uh, we are predicting the stock price to be this and this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Perfect, uh, Ibrahim. Um, anyone with a question to Ibrahim regarding uh, the idea he has? All right. So the question I had for you, uh, Ibrahim, you've, uh, you've uh, responded to it. Uh, it's going to be a personal uh, uh, app where people are advised on investments, uh, personal decision. Okay. All right. So uh, while uh, before we get to the answer session, two people need to provide answers. Um, I want you guys to think through all, all, all those possible projects and um, dissect them like uh, be honest with yourself and uh, be the judge if you're sitting on the other side and someone wanted you to give them a hundred thousand shillings to execute that project would you go and do it and what are some of the questions or answers or you'd want to listen to and um, what would make you not uh, go for it yeah so each of these proposal according to me they are uh, viable and they can be done um, and uh, the, 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 the decision of picking one as compared to the other rests on what is expected at the end. Uh, so that's why I'm asking each one of you guys to be the judge. If I, if say Faris came to you and told you I need 100,000 shillings and this is the project I want you to do, I want to do, um, would you go ahead and give Faris 100,000 or would, would you not? And what would be the reason for you not to? So that is the kind of thing I want you guys to think through um, before we get to the answer session. And two people need to give us answers. That is Faris and uh, Silas. Silas responds to Christopher's question. And then Faris will respond to my question. Before we get to that session, I, I need, because I'm part of the team, I also need to be exposed to through the same, same process where you guys have to ask questions. and 
validate whether the project idea I have in mind uh, makes sense to you guys or not. So what I have in mind is uh, trying to build a solution that enables and empowers even the low level guys to be able to work smart in terms of predicting whatever it is that they do. So um, the reason why I put uh, Facebook, a lot of people <clears throat> before Corona used to sell stuff through Facebook where you, you have a Facebook page where you're going to the office, um, you can either, either do deliveries or you, saw, you, you employ someone to do delivery on your behalf. So uh, this skill of knowing when to have what. So if you're selling clothes and you have uh, men's shoes and um, you have men's shoes and men's shirts, boy shoes, boy shirts, uh, toys, clothes, you have a variety. When do you know, okay, it's a skill where based on experience, you know, okay, at this time, I need only kids' shoes, and I need this size, this particular size, um, that will move. So can we empower those guys venturing into this to supplement their skills in such a way that they are told, based on your performance in the hist historical performance, yeah? Uh, next week, don't bother to, to bring size six. Um, just buy, just uh, stock size eight or size 12. Uh, they are more likely to to move faster, uh, regardless of what that is being sold. So this advisory is to anyone in uh, selling through Facebook. And uh, the, the idea that uh, I'm proposing uh, is not only Facebook, but even the local, I just use Facebook as an example. Um, These uh, briefcase companies, single man, single woman companies, uh, they have a lot of challenges and some of these tools will be necessary for them. So uh, I was thinking on the lines of what Ibrahim had mentioned, where the model at the end of the day is deployed through either an app or, uh, or a web, where they are able to record their sales or upload their historical sales. And as they transact, they have the moment you upload your, your sales for the past, say, uh, two months, the model should be able to tell you how it will look like for the next one week, yeah? and tell you what to, to 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 where to focus on. So that is what I had in mind. Um, I'm looking at uh, a mass market of uh, Facebook sales, and I'm looking at the potential of uh, implementing a forecasting model that would be interesting to to showcase because I, I think um, such a model doesn't exist. Um, it will be the first and whether or not it will be adopted, um, I'm not so sure because uh, some of the some of the sales, uh, some of the people selling on uh, uh, Facebook and uh, these briefcase companies, uh, they, I, I think uh, based on experience, they work on if it works, you don't fix it. As in, for as long as it's working, I'm making money. So what is this thing you're telling me about CV Mambo apps, CV predictions? CV? So based on that alone, I'm not so sure if it will be adopted. But whether or not it's something that we can uh, deliver and articulate, then uh, I think it can be, should it be able to be adopted, then it can be of big impact. I leave it to you guys to, to decide as now the, the judges. Um, that is the idea that I had. And I'm going to welcome if anyone has a question or should we just go to Silas to respond to Christopher? All right. Okay, um, Silas, I think uh, over to you. Um, actually, I'm privy, how should I say, I have some data that, um, that is there, but it's around uh, soil moisture. So, uh, time series data, time stamped data that has uh, soil moisture and stuff. So, um, I'm trying to use that as data to help me predict how moisture will be in the future. Okay. Chris, 
you got your answer. Uh, yeah, I got the answer. I'll be following that very, very closely. All right. Okay. Um, Faris, over to you now. You answer. Okay. Uh, uh, you asked uh, like four questions in one. <laughs> Combined. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so kindly, can you repeat the question? Then I answer one every bit, every bit. All right. Um, the question I had was for you to be able to one uh, of what value, what value would the, our model uh, be giving to the end users, um, and then two, um, do we have uh, similar solutions outside there that can the users, uh, the users, our target users can use, and then three. What would what would make the other users start using our solution as compared to the existing solution? So I'll I'll I'll, I'll stick to those three for now. Okay, the value to end users. Hello. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, le, le, let me start with similar uh, similar solutions that exist. Okay. One similar solution that exists is an is an application called uh, Robinhood, mm -hmm. and and uh, and uh, Robinhood is not available in in Africa and some part of Asian countries. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, uh, oh, oh, what difference it will have mm -hmm. uh, with the with with the product on the on the current market. Okay, you, as, you, as I've been as I've been I've been using Robinhood, I've been integrating VPN and other and and, and other things in able to use it. Mm -hmm. Robinhood, like eighty percent of their of their uh, of their forecasting is is short term, but I want to be able to to make my forecasting a bit long term. Because you, because even the uh, even the the long term solutions they offer they're usually out of speculation. Mm -hmm. uh, copy is one Okay, okay. The first one is Robinhood, and the next one is Itoro. Itoro even is for short term. Now, uh, mostly what I want to do is have long term solutions on on the internet. I don't like. I don't want to have short term solutions like. For two months, three months, I want to have something like long term for one year, two years like this. I want to be able to integrate data like okay, let's say like if if okay towards the towards like the the the, the Americans are are going to have an a, an election. How will I be able to convince like the investors like if this and this happens, the USD will surge or the USD will go up. Mm -hmm. So I I don't want like uh, like to say that the election is coming. Let's hide our money. Mm -hmm. or le let's put our money into other coffers. Mm -hmm. And able to show the the investors this and this will happen from November to to February, mm -hmm. and from March we expect this to go on. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the value to end users will be long term solutions that I will give them. Okay. All right. All right. So we have uh, we have uh, uh, rain, and uh, I I want you guys to take note of this because you're going to vote. Uh, before we get there, uh, we want to hear from Danson. Danson, I think we lost you some, at some point. Uh, good to have you back. Um, what you are going through right now is uh, uh, making proposal of the projects that we should uh, adopt. So you 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 make a proposal of the kind of time series problem we need to we need to adopt, and then you try and justify it. If there is anyone with a question, on uh, you you respond, and then the next phase that you are going to right now is now where uh, I list all the all the proposed projects, and each one of us needs to vote for any other apart from theirs. So you are not allowed to vote for yours. You need to pick. If it is not yours, then which other one should you vote for? But before we get to that point, um, Danson, please go ahead and tell us what you have in mind.
menangis kia? Ya, nak nak kuskia. Oh, ni nestra guna ni cuci asir lagi ni sawa. Mhm. So about the project. Mhm. Aha. Uh-huh. I really don't have a, a clear a clear project in mind. Mhm. Uh, as at now, but I guess because I'm doing some research, I can share in the group. Mhm. Ni the one you are about to create. Ama hakuna group. Yeah, itakuwa, itakuwa. <laughs> kila yes. kila 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 group. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah, I guess and if uh, uh, i'm also not really uh, prepared for okay for this session but okay i'm really trying to catch up yeah and then i i heard that you were asking about the value which uh, the project maybe will do which will add i i think i'm also not in a position to answer that because i don't have the project in mind okay uh and yeah i guess that's that uh, that's what i have for now for today and for now All right, not a problem, uh, Danson. So yes, I'm saying not not a problem. Uh, for as long as that. Yeah, uh, I can get you. Hello, uh, can you get me now? You're breaking. I guess my internet is. Um, how about now? Hello. Hello, I can hear you. Hey, is anyone? Uh, am I? Am, can. Uh, Uh, Faris, Chris, could you confirm if you can hear me? Yes, I can, I can hear, you. hear you. Okay, perfect. Uh, Danson, can you hear me? I think Danson has the issue. I can hear him, but he can't hear us. All right. Um, I guess uh, at the right time, he will play the recording and follow through for the points that he had missed out. And uh, he has mentioned that there is something he's going to share with us in the group that we will create. So we can uh, continue the discussion in the group, but uh, for uh, at the end of this session, uh, the discussion in the group will be inclined to the project that we all agree or during this session. So the moment we pick a project right now, um, I would be so reluctant to change. Um, so we will adopt it to the end. Uh, so when you are picking a project, uh, be cognizant that this is what we will get stuck with for the next three months and once in the group, we will have to learn time series. And the beauty of this is time series is time series. So um, if even if you change mind of project, uh, learning time series, the way you implement it, uh, you can apply it to any other data set. It's a very, very straightforward uh, problem to solve. It only gets complex when you're looking at multiple uh, variables. Um, but then again, um, that is also something else we can learn in class. Uh, how when we'll be covering univari- univariate and uh, multivariate uh, time series. So the next stage is where we vote. And we have so far one, two, three, four. Uh, I hope I've not missed out. We didn't get feedback from Eve because he dropped out. And then Danson, um, uh, uh, he's been on and off. So is not in a position to really contribute as much but i believe um, whatever whatever project we, we pick uh, he will be in support for the same so we have four projects and i want each one of you guys to pick one and uh, you pick one and that one should not be the one that you propose so the first project is rain and moisture prediction uh, soil soil moisture prediction let me let me call it that soil moisture prediction so what you're predicting is how will the soil moisture look like in the next couple of days in the next couple of weeks in the next couple of months how will the soil moisture look like given um that this is how it has been the past say couple of uh, couple of months and we've been told that uh, that data is available <clears throat> So that is the first project. So that is project number one. So if you want to explore with that, um, you will reply in the chat uh, with number one. And then the second one is Forex Trader. Yeah, proposal from Fares. So if you want us to focus on Forex trading, um, pick on uh, uh, Forex Trader number two. And then number three, Stock Trading. Um, I don't know. Uh, I'm not in finance and uh, this these two terms normally confuse me for now I, I think I'll just take it like there are two different things 
Um, three is stock trading. So if you're for stock trading, you pick uh, number three. And then number four is uh, Facebook uh, sellers sales, sales forecasting. So we are, we are targeting sales forecasting for sellers who are in uh, Facebook, okay? So if you are uh, for number one, just answer with number one. If you are for number two, answer with number two. If you are for number three, answer with number three. And if you are for number four, answer with number four. Those are the four projects that we are proposing to be solved by this group. Okay? So you go in chat and post there what you think. Um, give it a shot. I've seen Lona has joined. Uh, Lona Karibu Sana. So what, what we've been going through, as the others post, uh, let me just bring Lona up to speed. Uh, yeah. what, where we have reached is we have reached where we are picking um, the, pro the project that we will go through, um, we will use um, to learn uh, sales uh, forecasting for the next, say, three months. And uh, the projects that have been proposed is uh, soil moisture prediction, like now we are predicting the moisture content for uh, soil for a given period. And then uh, the second one uh, is forex trading. Uh, the third one is uh, stock trading. And the last one is sales, sales uh, prediction for uh, Facebook sellers. So we want to facilitate uh, Facebook sellers uh, to be able to uh, to get to understand their sales in the future, yeah. So all those are those are the ideas that have been floated. Other things that we've covered, we've covered the the content um, that is ahead of us. It's actually still projected on the screen. This is what we will we will learn moving forward. And uh, yeah, uh, we've brainstormed, and uh, other people have. Uh, projects so you uh, you've just come these projects have just been proposed we've not yet picked one so we can uh, we can uh, if you have a project on your own you could actually make a proposal and uh, defend your case and then if there's anyone with a question they can ask you uh, that is one way uh, another way is you could pick one of those four and then we do a voting and then we adopt it as our class project and then we use that to anchor all, all the learnings moving forward uh, question yes Lona. um so how do we, how what's the method of voting so do i write side chat or how does it how, no, you, or, oh okay you just chat in the in the main group not not private i want everyone to see yeah, uh, as in in this Zoom meeting. That's what yes, I'm asking. Yes. Oh yes, 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 yes. <laughs> oh, okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so sorry, I just finished work right now. I know, <laughs> I know, I know. The office can be hectic. Um, yeah, I understand, yeah, yeah. I understand completely. Okay. Uh, so Chris has also mentioned that he has a meeting out uh, at five. Chris, uh, before you go, I hope you've made a vote. You've selected your project. I have voted, I have voted for the soil moisture for interest purposes. I have okay. interest in it. And I also said okay. if there is a, is a tie, because I want to drop off right now, I have a meeting at 7.45. No if problem. there is a, a tie, I am okay with Facebook because that is what I had in mind. But I oh. like that moisture thing. For moisture, Agribusiness okay. Is here. All right. Uh, so, sir, you guys see you on Tuesday. Bye. Bye. We'll add you to the group and we will definitely continue uh, exchanging in the group. Okay. Uh, so, Lo Lona, Lona, you have an idea or you'll vote one out of those four? I, I'll vote. Are they All right. they're not the ones that are on the Nini? So I, I, let me, I, I guess I just have to remember the ones that you've mentioned, right? Yeah, the four. They are the four. Rain, uh, moisture content prediction, forex uh, prediction, stock prediction, and uh, sales prediction for Facebook uh, sellers. Okay.
So everyone, I believe everyone has, has voted. So let, let us go through the voting and then we pick. Uh, so the first one was uh, Chris was number one, uh, which is moisture. And then uh, Danson. Uh, so Danson has picked two. Danson, I I've seen you you've posted twice. Which one is it? Okay, um um okay, my choice was number two, but uh, I was saying in case they are, they choose number four, I'm also okay because it's a nice project also. Oh, so your choice for primary choice is number two, huh? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um and then we go to the next person. Yeah, so number one, Danson, and then Faris Moisture, Faris Moisture, and then uh, Christopher, oh, Chris has, has already voted. Let's check that. The next one is Silas, um, uh, Facebook, and then Ibrahim, Facebook, and then uh, Lona Moisture, Lona Moisture, and then uh, okay, so Danson had already voted primary, so we'll just consider the primary, and then myself had picked Moisture. And then, um, okay, so Lona, you already vo voted. So for moisture, we have four, four people. Uh, Forex, we have one. And then Facebook, we have two. So I think uh, we go with the moisture. Uh, part of the rule, Lona, was you, you, you select something that you had not proposed. So uh, I think the vote has gone well. and. Uh, we we unanimously will support the moisture prediction and if uh, your proposal was not picked um 100 participation is still expected and uh, because we are all learning and uh, we the objective is to deploy um, a production system we're not building just a notebook model we need to think through how will the users use this uh, moisture we need to think through uh, we are actually tasked to do to to build something that can be used by um, an end user, and the end user in this case is um, the farmer. And remember, the farmer in this case, uh, I, I gave an example where I did farming in Kajiado some time back, and uh, uh, fortunately for me, there was a borehole. But imagine a farmer without a borehole; they have to go um, quite a long distance to look for water and um, they wouldn't know when to water. So they will go get the water and then the assumption is they water every evening. And uh, if they knew an idea of how the moisture content is, then they wouldn't waste that water. So we want to, we, 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 as a team, we need to be able to articulate the benefit and the value we are giving and to who we are giving that value. And are we going to enable that that user to use it within the resources they have. Uh, so that is the task ahead of us. Besides building a model, we need to see how we package this to the, to the end user that it can be used. So by the time we are doing, um, 
by the time we are doing a demo on uh, the demo day is slotted for 26th by the time we are doing that demo uh, they actually the user can actually experience it yeah we won't present the jupyter notebook to the user will enable uh, the user to use it with, within the within the, the within the tools that they have and all this is us guys to be tasked we need to work our butts to make sure that this is a, this is done all right um, so the good news is we have a project and the other good news is that the class is over unless someone has a question I'll, I'll want to spend the next few minutes just to, to, to mention some of the action items that I'm going to, that is going to happen before the next class. So I'll open the floor for uh, questions. Silas, Lona, Ibrahim, Danson. I think. Uh, Two guys have dropped off, uh, one because of data and the other one has a meeting. Igo Swali? Uh, mine is just a comment. I think I'm excited about this. Um, mm -hmm. I'm just excited to get my foot again for casting. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, that's yeah. good to hear. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. Uh, Silas? Since this was your brainchild, the moisture manenos, what, what do you have to say? Not that, it's not like we have conquered the hill. It's not like we have conquered the hill yet, so I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel you. We just started. Mm. Yeah. But wale uh, wenye wana 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 linda uyo mtoto ni ni wazazi. Sasa sisi ni wazazi na uyo mtoto ni wetu. So uyo mtoto lazima akue machua. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Akue machua na aende shule na asaidie watu huko nje. So that is the objective and I think uh, with the excitement that so far I see even myself I'm excited uh, Donna. Um I believe we have all it takes to make sure that this actually comes to life. Yeah. One thing I didn't do, um, I, I didn't uh, introduce, uh, I didn't allow guys to introduce themselves. So quickly, before I, 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 I state the action items, uh, I would want you just to spend a minute, say who you are, um, what you do, your level of experience of machine learning, and your expectations out of this class just quickly, so that the other people can actually know. So I'll start with Silas. We are almost done. Do you know Lona? You don't know Lona? Unajua Ibrahim? Aujua Ibrahim? So Funguaro. One minute. Yanni, you said, do you know Lona? Mm. <laughs> you don't know Lona. You don't know Ibrahim. You don't know Danson. Do you know Danson? Lazima to join. You know, moving forward from this point onwards, kwa WhatsApp group, you know, to go to the to as in like brothers and sisters. Okay. I, I, don't know if, I don't know if Lona is available, but uh, I'll assume she's, she's not. Hello. Hey. We were told it's a team sport. Remember? <laughs> yes, yes it's a team sport. Yes, Danson, go ahead. Danson, there's something you're saying. Okay. <laughs> I guess I wanted to introduce myself. Am yes. I clear? Yes, yes, yes. Go ahead. Okay, so I'm Danson Maina, a fourth year student at Multimedia University. Uh, MA machine learning. Okay, I guess I'm in the intermediate level because I followed the team up to where we are. Even the project of NLP, we are still together. Yeah, so I guess in terms of data science and ML and statistics, I'm at intermediate level. Yeah, thank you. So you can just call me Brother Danson. 
Yes, brother Danson. <laughs> yes, brother Danson. Karibu sana. Asante. Uh, Silas kwa wako sasa. Usha kunyo maji? Sini mesema kwa chat. O, oh, mesema kwa chat. Yani kufungua roo, awezi kufungua na mic. Sawa, basi. Niko mnono, na jaribu kukua mkonde. Sini yo, imetosha. <laughs> Sawa. Sawa. Danson is currently, Silas is currently exercising. He's fat, now he's trying. His objective is to be slender like me. So I wish him all the best. Uh, with this corona, I really wish him all the best. Anyway, uh, guys, I just, uh, I was, okay, I work for IBM, uh, which is very funny that I'm coming for a data science meetup because IBM guys are supposed to be data science uh, leaders um but i want to go through the journey of actually getting my hands dirty um we have a lot of tools and at times you stick data into tools and things just come out and you're like okay what happened it is, but mm. what happened mm. but um once you i wanted to open up the bonnet and look at the actual components, what they do, and literally try and explain certain challenges when people have faced them. So it's a journey. Um, how I got involved in this is that uh, IU and uh, some other crew of the AI beginners were looking for a location. So I used to provide them a location last year. They were encouraging me to enter into data science, but I was like, ah, not really. Uh, until it can in gear. Now, it, unfortunately, unfortunately, when my wife is telling me it's becoming an addiction. <laughs> I, I resonate with that. So let me know. What are you doing? I don't know how to do it, but I feel it. All right, good stuff, Silas. Um, Lona, over to you. Uh, hi, my name is Lona. Just to Silas, I think that's more like a passion because um, we were told what you do when you're not being forced not to do is actually what you're passionate about. It's an indicator. So just to just tell you that. And yeah, so my name is Lona. I work with Ayub, uh, yeah, and I'm, I, I'm, I'm constantly trying to, what I've learned about data science is there are so many new things you can learn, even despite the fact that maybe you've interacted with it before, there's always something new to learn, and data science is a, is a team sport. So, yeah, I'm excited about this. Good stuff, Lona. Karibu sana. passion. passion fruit kwanza. No, 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 sorry. It's no, no, no negative connotations to be taken out of that. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm, I'm excited about this, that you're going to move like with a team and learn from each other. Yeah, and I'm, I'm excited generally. Karibu sana, Lona. I'm, I'm also very excited about this. And let's see where this will take us. And uh, one, one place that it needs to take us is the demo day. We have to show something to, we owe it to the people outside there that we can, it, it can be done and it has been done by us guys. All right? Good stuff. So, Ibrahim, over to you. So, hey guys, uh, I'm Ibrahim Abdi. Uh, so, I, I currently work at Kenyan Wall Street. So, I, uh, yeah, and then mm -hmm. uh, I'd like to think of myself as a junior data scientist. So yeah, I'm really interested in uh, going through this program and just interacting with you guys mm. and trying to solve a real problem. Mm. Yeah. 
Awesome. Yes, that's it. All right. Great stuff, Ibrahim. And just to wrap it up, uh, I want to appreciate uh, your interest. And uh, this thing you cannot learn, as, as Lona says, we can't learn by ourselves. We need a team that um, we take in different perspectives and we need to participate, uh, all of us. And uh, um, the little you know, just, just be open up and, and share. And if uh, there is a, a big task ahead of us, you could take it upon yourself to go and research and uh, come up with solutions. So it is upon us to, to hold each, other, each other's hand and uh, deliver this solution uh, as a team. So maximum participation is expected and that is what I preach even in the other, in the other groups. Um, actionable items, the first thing I'm going to do is to share, to create a WhatsApp group and add each one of us. So the total uh, attendance for this class was uh, four, six, eight people. So eight guys, uh, have, some of them have dropped in and out uh, because of network, but I'm going to add them. And after creating the WhatsApp group, I'll share this uh, video uh, recording. Uh, so that if you, uh, you, you missed some of the audio, you could actually follow through and be abreast on what was discussed. Uh, if you came in a bit late, uh, find time and go through the video because you might get one or two concepts earlier uh, that would really help you um, gain ground on the agenda of this group. And then I'll also pull through some resources from the net <clears throat> um, that is going to help us uh, uh, prepare for the next class because the next class immediately our hand starts getting dirty. So um, uh, the, the last thing, those are the, the fourth one now. The last thing is uh, I'm going to reach out to Silas. So because Silas is, uh, uh, has the data, reach out to Silas to make it available. And uh, uh, depending on now the terms of the data, we will um, make it available and uh, discuss further. The objective is for us guys to learn and deliver a solution, okay? So those are the immediate four things I'm going to focus on. Create a group, I share the video, um, I get uh, resources in terms of uh, URLs, uh, educational resources, and post it in the group. And then finally, uh, make sure that we have the data where we can work with, right? So that is what I'm going to do. And if I'm not able to do it, complete everything by today, uh, please give me some time until tomorrow. Um, I have crazy days, um, but I appreciate uh, some of you normally give me a lot of pressure. And one of them is here, Silas. Silas gives me a lot of pressure and it is positive pressure. So if I, get, if I disappear, try and reach out. Naiza Kwan Misao, a couple of things. So I, I, I take it positively, you, you reach out and tell me this is pending. And I get the same thing from the other groups. What are you on the spot? So even you guys are allowed to put me on the spot, okay? This is your time. You need to get the maximum out of, out of your time. If there is no any other word, then uh, I'll call it a day. Thank you guys. Um, have a good evening. Cheers and stay safe, man. Stay safe. Cheers, guys. And bye. Uh, cheers. Bye. Good evening. Yeah.